Hey there, scientist! In this unit, we have learned so much about science. We now know what science is, what scientists do, how and why scientists record their learning, and how science helps us. Wow! All of this knowledge can only mean one thing. Now you are a scientist! This week, you will be conducting three independent investigations. That means you will be working all by yourself, with a bit of support from a grown-up at home, of course. Before you get started on your incredible investigations, I have to make sure you understand how to stay safe as a scientist. Let's dive in. During investigations, there are things we always do as scientists and things we never do as scientists. Let's look at the things we will do first. First and foremost, always listen to the grown-up you are with. Whether it is a teacher, a parent, or another scientist, you must listen to the adult you are working with because it is their job to make sure the investigation is safe. Speaking of grown-ups, they will probably have directions for you. Sometimes, grown-ups will use their voice to give you directions, and sometimes you will get these directions written down on paper. The directions or steps for the investigation are called the procedure. As scientists, we always follow directions and procedures. The procedure will also tell you when and how to use the materials or the items you are using to conduct your investigation. We always use all materials carefully. Sometimes in science, you will use materials that are very fragile or can be easily broken. It is very important that you handle all materials with care to avoid any dangerous accidents. There is another kind of material called a safety tool that you may use in some investigations. Safety tools include goggles, gloves, and a lab coat like mine. These materials are worn to keep you safe. If an investigation's procedure tells you to use safety tools, make sure you use them appropriately. Even when we follow all of the rules and handle all materials with care, accidents happen. It is so important that you tell a grown-up about any accident that happens. Even if it is a tiny spill, it is always best to tell the grown-up so they can check on it and make sure everyone is safe. The next safety rule is one we should be very familiar with. Washing your hands. To stay safe in science, we wash our hands before and after investigations. This is an important way we keep ourselves and others safe in science. Now that we know what we will always do, it is time to talk about the two things we will never do during a science investigation. First, we will never ever eat or drink during an investigation. Sometimes we may investigate foods like gummy bears, and other times we may work with chemicals that are not meant to go inside our bodies. To make sure we are always keeping ourselves and others safe in science, we never ever eat or drink anything during an investigation, no matter how delicious something may seem. Finally, we will never ever run and play during an investigation. This rule reminds me of the fragile materials I mentioned earlier. If we are handling all materials with care during an investigation, that means we need to be in control of our bodies. We keep ourselves and others safe by making sure our bodies are calm during the entire investigation. Phew! Now that we know all about science safety, I think you are ready to hear about your investigations. You will have three investigations to conduct this week. Each investigation will have a paper that looks like this. Notice Mia at the top of the paper. What is she holding? Exactly! She is holding a stop sign. Anytime you see Mia holding a stop sign at the top of an activity, that means you must have a grown-up with you to get started. On this paper, you will also see the title of the investigation at the top, the materials or items you will need here, and the procedure or steps you will follow right here. Remember, an important part of science is recording your learning. That is why you will have this scientific template to record all of your learning on. You are going to have so much fun this week, scientist. 
make sure you follow the science safety rules, use the scientific method, and record all of your amazing scientific discoveries to share with others. And remember, science is all around you. Hey.